Human skin color is one of the most visible and recognizable differences between people. The wide range of skin colors seen in human populations has long fascinated scientists and laypeople alike. While skin color is largely determined by genetics, the reasons behind why human populations have such a wide range of skin colors are complex and multifaceted. Skin color is determined by the amount and type of melanin pigment present in the skin. Melanin is produced by cells called melanocytes, which are located in the epidermis, the outer layer of skin. The amount of melanin present in the skin determines how dark or light the skin appears. There are two main types of melanin, eumelanin, which is brown or black, and pheomelanin, which is red or yellow. The amount of each type of melanin present in the skin determines the overall skin color. While skin color is largely determined by genetics, the specific genes that control skin color are complex and involve many different factors. One of the key factors is the amount of UV radiation present in the environment. UV radiation can damage DNA and increase the risk of skin cancer, so people living in areas with high levels of UV radiation tend to have more melanin in their skin to protect themselves from the harmful effects of the sun. As a result, populations living closer to the equator tend to have darker skin, while populations living farther from the equator tend to have lighter skin. This is why people of African descent, for example, tend to have darker skin than people of European descent. However, the reasons behind the wide range of skin colors seen in human populations are not solely due to environmental factors. Human populations have migrated and interbred throughout history, which has led to the mixing of genetic traits and the development of new skin colors. The origins of human skin color can be traced back to our evolutionary history. Our ancestors, who lived in Africa, had dark skin that was well adapted to the high levels of UV radiation in the region. As human populations migrated out of Africa and into other parts of the world, they encountered different levels of UV radiation and adapted their skin color accordingly. The first humans to migrate out of Africa were likely light-skinned, as they would have needed less melanin in their skin to produce enough vitamin D in regions with lower levels of UV radiation. As human populations continued to migrate and interbreed, new skin colors emerged as genetic traits were passed down from generation to generation. But there are some anomaly cases where the skin color of a certain ethnic group does not have a shade that is well adapted to the prevailing solar radiation in their home regions. In southern Africa, for example, the Bantu people, who make up the majority of the population, are significantly darker than expected. This can be explained by the fact that they originated in the more tropical region of Africa and migrated into the southern parts of the continent only about 2,000 years ago. Their skin color has not yet had time to adapt to the lower radiation. But even in West Africa, many ethnic groups are darker than expected, an anomaly that is considerably more difficult to explain. The same applies to the Aboriginal people of Australia. Their ancestors reached Australia just over 40,000 years ago, a period of time that should have been more than enough for an adaptation of skin color. There are also many people who are lighter than expected. This includes the people in large parts of South Asia, from India to Indonesia. The reason is probably the same as why the Bantu people of Southern Africa are so dark they have migrated into the area relatively late. Considerably more strange in that case is the light skin color of many of the people in the Middle East, especially in Saudi Arabia where solar radiation can be extremely intense. There is no good explanation for the phenomenon and why people of Middle Eastern descent would not be darker. In addition to genetic factors, cultural factors have also played a role in shaping perceptions of skin color. In many cultures, lighter skin has traditionally been associated with higher social status and beauty, while darker skin has been associated with lower social status and physical labor. This has led to the development of a global beauty industry that promotes skin lightening products, particularly in parts of Africa, Asia, and the Caribbean. The use of skin lightening products has been linked to a range of health problems, including skin irritation, dermatitis, and even cancer. Unfortunately, skin color has also been used as a basis for discrimination and oppression throughout history. The belief that one race or ethnicity is superior to another based on skin color is known as racism, and it has led to countless atrocities throughout history, from the transatlantic slave trade to the Holocaust. In the modern era, there is growing awareness of the importance of accepting and celebrating the diversity of human skin colors. 
This includes efforts to combat racism and promote equality, as well as efforts to educate people about the science behind skin color and the role it plays in shaping our understanding of race and ethnicity. Overall, the reasons behind the wide range of skin colors seen in human populations are complex and multifaceted, involving genetics, environment, migration, and cultural factors. While skin color has been used as a basis for discrimination and oppression throughout history, it is important to remember that there is no inherent superiority or inferiority associated with any particular skin color. In fact, research has shown that skin color differences are purely cosmetic and do not reflect any fundamental genetic differences between different human populations. Despite this, skin color continues to be a source of prejudice and discrimination in many parts of the world. To combat this, there are a number of initiatives underway to promote diversity and inclusivity. For example, many companies and organizations are now implementing diversity and inclusion policies that aim to ensure that all people are treated fairly and with respect, regardless of their skin color or other characteristics. In addition, there are many grassroots movements and community organizations working to promote equality and combat racism. These include groups that advocate for changes to legislation and policies, as well as groups that focus on educating people about the harmful effects of discrimination and the importance of celebrating diversity. Finally, it is worth noting that while skin color may be a visible and recognizable difference between people, it is only one of many factors that contribute to our overall diversity as a species. In reality, humans are incredibly diverse in terms of our genetics, culture, language, and many other factors. Rather than focusing on superficial differences such as skin color, it is important to recognize and celebrate the many things that unite us as a whole. By working together to promote inclusivity, diversity, and respect for all people, we can help to create a world where everyone is valued and accepted for who they are, regardless of their appearance or background.